Here you go. Check us out on YouTube. We fish all over this area oh, in Beaufort. I, 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 I watch you. You watch us? Yeah. Awesome. Here. Opsa. They watch the channel, Kel. Oh, nice. This yeah. is some from our sponsors. Try these out sometime. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, those are uh, cast crate nubs. Let's... Fish dudes. Hey, what's going on? What's your name? Larry. I'm Paul. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you just put a video on. I always watch it. Oh, yeah? Fish brain, yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. Hey, welcome back. Check this out. See that swim bait right there? I carved this out of wood. I made a mold. I poured it. You're going to see that all in this video. Caught an early March largey. I finally caught something with one of my build a bait series videos. Let's get started. Okay, for today's project, I want to make a swim bait for a creek where the eye is actually this jig head. So I drew up a couple different size swim baits in Photoshop. I think that's a good size right there for this 1 16th ounce equal claw hook. I'm a big fan of these jigs. Um, they've worked well for me for many years. So I think that's, that's the business I want to go with right now. And then I'm going to carve it out of this wood. I believe that's popular. And then I'm going to take that carving and we're going to pour it into a mold. And then we're going to pour soft plastic into that mold and get a swim bait out of it and have a uh, regular swim bait soft plastic mold. So let's get started. None of this uh, is stuff I've ever done before, so <laughs> bear with me. This is uh, all a learning experience. I'm going to cut off the tail and carve that separately. It's off alignment right now. Okay, so I want this jig to be recessed into the swim bait a little bit. So I'm going to round out a hole for the jig head hole, for the jig head to just fit snugly in there. Okay, so this tail is not as, I, I want a little bit more to it in the back. All right, maybe something like this. I'll take that over to the bandsaw, I'll be right back in a sec. That'll work, I'm gonna glue and sand that down. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, maybe I'll cut a little notch just to uh, show where the hook will come out, like a little guide. Okay, this project has involved a lot of sanding, but I think I got down to the base that I want. So now I will carve some gills and maybe a couple scales and we'll start working on our mold. That'll fit in right there. Hook will come right out of that little slot. Okay, I just got a real quick sketch of the gills, and then I'm just going to go ahead and um, carve each one of these down. Okay, I got the gills in, I got the uh, scales in, tail sanded, lots of sanding with this one. Um, so I'm going to go grab some of my kids' Legos and start building a, a mold box. I have no idea what I'm doing, but let's figure it out. Okay, now I'm going to make a case to put the mold in. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put some of this modeling clay at the bottom here, and then we're going to lay in our um, lure master. Get that first half done. Okay, here's the mold kit. Um, put a dowel rod up here up top for the injection to go in when we inject the soft plastics. Put birthday candles for air to flow to go out the sides and the bottom there. Um, holes are so the mold can be held together. Now I'm going to spray some silicon mold release and um, work the mold thing. <laughs> Is that how you say it? Work the mold thing? I might put some petroleum jelly over this wood too, just to give it a little bit more um, lubricant. Fart. Ten part base, one part catalyst. Hey Siri, remind me in 18 hours. Okay, so we have our white mold. I mean, we have our mold on this side. Now it's time to do the other side. So let's go ahead and expose the other side so that we can pour our new mold in. Remove this clay to expose the other side of our mold. That mold release spray made this clay removal a lot easier. Heck, it made it possible. So what I'm going to do now is just get rid of all the rest of this clay and then we're going to pour. After we pour more, spray more mold release spray, we're going to pour the other half of our mold. Again, along with the mold release spray, I'm going to put Vaseline, uh, like a petroleum jelly, around a lot of these parts just to give it an extra um, layer that will allow the mold to stick together. Another 10 to 1 ratio.
Okay, it is the next day. This was our first side. This was our second side. They feel like they have dried up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this tape and uh, take the Legos out. And let's see if this mold works. Okay, we have our mold. It fits together nicely. We have our spot for the injection. We have our air holes coming out the sides. It seems to um, go all the way through. Who wants to pour the soft plastics now? Let's start off with dark pumpkin. Can't lose dark pumpkin. We'll melt that down in our microwave and then we will inject it right there. We seem to be at optimal temperature. Well, we got a solid pour. I'm just gonna clean this up and uh, check it out. Okay, so our mold worked out pretty well. Um, let's check out what we got here. So we got our different colors. We got these root beer molasses, I guess greenish shark skin type color, different types of flakes. Some of these I melted down fresh soft plastic. Some of these are from recycled lures that I had sitting around. Well, so, you know, not the most beautiful, but I think these are gonna get the job done. And there is only one way to tell if they'll get the job done. Let's go fishing. All right, I got some company with me today. We're gonna try out the action on our new swim bait. Okay, let's check out the action. Nice little flutter of that tail. Great lifelike color, I'm very impressed. And that's just melting down a bunch of old lures. I really like that color. That definitely matches the hatch in my area. Just popping it like a Ned rig right now. In anything he's in usually. Matt, Matt. <laughs> it's official. They like my lure, Matt. They like my lure. On the big poly. On the big poly swim bait. Matt and I have been fishing for an hour or so, at least an hour, right? Yeah. No bites. Well, we did. I have a, I had a bite, but it's my first fish. We're in the beginning of March, so I got a nice cold largie on the swim bait. Largie alert. Largie alert. And if that doesn't prove to you it's not it's the first Wednesday of the month, that should. I guess I could edit I, I guess I could put that alarm in and post if I wanted to, but my swim bait. I can't believe I finally caught something with one of my build-a-bait lures. It's still March, so I'm still thinking winter fishing. You know, we have like a near 70 degree day and you want to think, hey, it's spring fishing time. But you got to still keep it slow. I mean, that's all I did. I kept it super slow and I think it just hit it when it was falling. So I'm happy. Um, 
we're going to be back next week. And uh, next week we might have uh, we might be teaming up with the, the special guest. It's back. We haven't seen him um, for a while now. So what do you think? Spring I'm, season? I am dying to get on a bite. I am ready for it. Let's make it happen. Yeah, let's do it. We'll see you in one week on Cincy Fish Dudes.